A recent note by Philip Capital reveals that water infrastructure can be the next big theme given the 11 lakh crore national river linking project that envisions connecting 37 rivers through 30 links comprising a network of over 50 dams and more uh, okay and more than 15,000 kilometers of canals. But how soon and by how much can this move the needle for infra companies and which players are best suited to make use of this opportunity? Mr. Nitin Patel, Executive Director, Sadbhav Engineering and Vipar Singhal, Analyst at Philip Capital and author of this report have joined us now. Good morning to both of you, uh, gentlemen. Uh, well, first to you, Vipar, since uh, uh, you have authored this report. You know, linking of rivers is the oldest theme in the BJP manifesto. I remember reading it maybe 30 years ago when I was in uh, college perhaps. Uh, I mean, how much, uh, why are you so suddenly confident that uh, it's taken ground? Right, so you're absolutely right. So this uh, concept is actually as old as 1977 oh. when it was first envisaged. And then of course, uh, they realized that uh, they need to do something to basically increase the irrigation area in the country as well as control the floods and droughts which occur every year. So after that, multiple committees was formed. There was a National Water Development Agency, NWDA, which was formed to look into this proposal. And in fact, the plan that the current government is working on was kind of uh, conceptualized at that point itself. Uh, as you rightly said, uh, in the last the NDA government under Mr. Vajpayee, they took the, this project in right earnest. They a uh, lot of uh, project reports were uh, sanctioned and they were to be prepared. But we haven't heard anything in this government. Are projects, contracts given out? Right. So basically what has happened is ever since this government came into power since 2014, in the last three years, a lot of background work has been done. So no uh, project has been awarded as yet. But as we are given to understand, and again, this was uh, more uh, basically uh, uh, ensured by Mr. Gadkari, who we recently hosted, that basically three links, uh, one is in MP and two in Maharashtra, they're actually in late stages of being awarded. So as you, as you rightly said, this link has uh, almost 30 links between different rivers across the country. And we're looking at an expenditure of around 11 lakh crores mm. in, all these three, uh, in all these 30 links. These three links will probably have, uh, will connect uh, six rivers in, in the Maharashtra and uh, MP region, uh, totaling to around 50,000 crores of expenditure. And as we are given to understand, a lot of clearances have been obtained there, L large amount of land has also okay. been acquired. And the minister said that they, could they are looking to start awarding by as early as December this year itself. Okay, okay so in that case, which are the companies that are best suited for this kind of work? Who could benefit in terms of water? So again, these are the companies which are based out of, which are, the, I mean, so uh, this is a cross-sectoral kind of uh, application you can look at. You have construction companies which are focused in the irrigation space, the likes of Nagarjuna, Sadbhav, LNT, of course, they remains there always, KNR Construction and the Libelcon kind of companies. Then you'll have cement companies because you'll be talking of constructing around 100 dams and 15,000 length kilometers of length of canals. Mm. So that will also require at least uh, a huge amount of cement then you'll also have pumps companies which are coming into play because mm -hmm. the natural gradient will not allow water to flow everywhere you will need pumps to be uh, lifting the water at places so these are the kind of segments that you could be looking okay. at in terms of uh, beneficiaries of this entire project so let's talk to one of them actually Nitin Patel uh, idiot Sadbhav engineering is with us now uh, Nitin good morning I'm sure you would have heard what Vibhor had to say but your thoughts on how big is this an opportunity for a company like yours So first of all, uh, it is a fact now that a lot of ground activity has been started uh, for river linking projects, and uh, we are also now uh, gathering the, all the details uh, so far as the uh, uh, tendering process and everything is concerned. Uh, but what we are of the view that uh, still uh, the river linking needs to be connected with the basically the irrigation network also. Because the last mile, the last leg of the land should be uh, uh, basically poured with the required water, uh, mainly for the irrigation and uh, obviously the drinking purpose also. Because this is the process where the wastage of water need to be connected. Uh, but what we understand that the irrigation activity as of now, uh, the Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat and even Karnataka, these all states are very active so far. And uh, obviously, uh, when the, this uh, activity between the MP and uh, the uh, Maharashtra, what they have already started the process of acquiring the land, mm -hmm. it will come, the size will start growing up in a bigger way. But obviously, we have to see the, uh, the time, timeline or what time the actual bidding is getting started. Okay. okay. Uh, what is the share of irrigation or for that matter, this kind of uh, water related construction in your portfolio? See, as of now, in our overall total business, uh, around almost uh, 14 to 18 percent is our uh, irrigation business. Uh, 
बट इन पास्ट वी एड सीन दिटवीन इलेवन टू फोर्टीन द इरिगेशन बिजनेस हैज ग्रोन अप टू ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी परसेंट बिकॉज द हाईवे एक्टिविटी हैज बिन स्लो डाउन सो दैट वॉज द वी एव सीन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू अस द यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द इक्विपमेंट रिसोर्सिस मैन पावर बिटवीन द हाईवेज वर्क एंड द इरिगेशन वर्क देर इज नॉट मच फिजिकली एडिशनल कैप्टेक्स और एनीथिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड सो इट इज इंटरचेंजेबिलिटी इज देर नितिन what sort of margins do you enjoy on the irrigation business and how do they compare with the overall blended margins the reason i'm asking is that as you go forward and bid for these contracts i mean can these be high high margin contracts or uh, see obviously when the issue project size is larger more number of so much uh, basically more number of projects will be there for the bidding so definitely the margin will start going up actually and uh, considering the current scenario if we see that the uh, the other sector so like the uh, urban infrastructure highways and everything is also uh, basically likely to go pick up uh, on a larger way so obviously there will be business for all the infrastructure companies and definitely every will start to uh, pick out the basically the work uh, based on the definitive margin yeah but just in, in terms of a number right now your irrigation business margin is what if you could give me a number and uh, as opposed to the blended margin for the company as a whole exactly exactly see currently we are working on irrigation around 8 to 9% of dividend uh, level and the overall blended for the company we are working at around 11 and 1/2% actually so that is the overall business what we are seeing but uh, uh, also we are of the view that the once the particular sector will start growing up so definitely it will have the uh, further uptick okay are you reducing uh, debt uh, this year as well nitin Yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, see, if you see during the first half, on the standalone business, almost 350 crore of it has been hived off, and uh, our view is that by the end of March, uh, we are likely to hive off another 250 to 300 crore uh, on the standalone business. So, the quarterly uh, interest outgo will be how much? See, uh, obviously, we are of the view that it should be within the range of around 20 to 22 crore rupees uh, on a quarterly basis. Okay. Well, just to come back to the topic at hand, any uh, are you expecting any of these irrigation orders or river linking orders to come in in this fiscal? These fiscal uh, the chances are very less, uh, but obviously uh, the next year we can see that the uh, activity will start boosting up. Okay. Then same question to you: When are you expecting uh, these companies to benefit from orders like these? Right, so these orders, I think, will. Uh, so, if I look at the timeline for this entire project, I think this will take at least the next decade for this entire project to be awarded. And these are not small projects, and you need a lot of clearances <laughs> as well as pacify the PAP, which we call the project affected people. I mean, you had 70,000 people which were displaced for Sardar Sarovar Dam, so you'll have uh, much, much more number of people being displaced for these projects. But as we are given to understand, the three projects that we spoke of, so the, there's a Ken Bethwa link in MP, and there are two projects that is Tapi Narmada and the Daman Ganga Panchal in Maharashtra. These projects are in late stage. of their clearances and land acquisition in fact as we as we are told most of the uh, clearances have already been obtained for these so these i believe could see the starting of their award activity not the entire orders but it is the start of them at least in the uh, in this fiscal year itself by march as we are given to understand by the ministry so uh, before finally as we wind up just to expand this a little beyond water as well because i was taking a look at your order book keeper for november yep. and that's a very heartening report because you're saying that the awards are moving at such a rapid pace that most companies in your universe have visibility of 3 years in terms of order books so that's good to know now if someone is to play the infrastructure cycle because we speak to a lot of fund managers most people are looking at infrastructure uh, you know to be added in the portfolio which would be your top 2 or 3 companies to bet on for the next one year look i think in the infra space i think we are in a very sweet spot at this point of time as our report says the order books are at all time high most importantly which is more heartening is that the balance sheets are very very strong unlike the last cycle again i think apart from a couple of companies everybody sitting at less than 0.5 times that is to equity so strong order books strong balance sheets mm -hmm. means for the next 2 to 3 years you can look at very strong uh, growth uh, top line as well as earnings in terms of which companies to play i would say i mean i mean rather than picking just the companies in a bottom of way just pick up the sectors in which you think there's going to be the maximum activity so water as we spoke of is one roads we know the bharat mala program is going to be huge metros we've seen a lot of activity in those terms and then of course there's always be uh, the building segment in which you'll have significant orders coming from pradhan mantri awas yojana next year being the year just before elections so companies like nagarjuna in the where, of course and then sadbhav as we mentioned and knr and pnc of course are also companies which we continue to like in the space okay
good for your enthusiasm, <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Nitin Patel and Sanjeev. Thanks for joining us. But I just want to remind everyone that in about 40 odd companies in the NCLT, there are a clutch of infra companies. Oh. So <laughs> beware of that bit as well. Thank you very much for joining Pleasure. us. Okay.